So let's start to look how we can add dashed lines or dotted lines inside our grid in Chart.js. So let's start to look how we can add dotted lines on our grid line here. So what we need to do here, make sure you have the standard here, by the way. And if you have any questions, check out my Discord channel. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the bar chart JS and in here we have everything ready. And what we want to do here is in the options, we want to pinpoint the scales and within the scales, we can say, for example, the X scales, but in the X scales, we're going to select what we call the border. So we're going to say your border and then we're going to say your dash. And here the dash, we can say here, for example, a value, this must be an array, but it can be a single value. If you say six, that would indicate that we have a dotted line here that is six pixels of solid color and six pixels white space. We could change that by saying maybe six pixels and we say 12 by six. So we have, as you can see here, 12 pixels in a solid line and six pixels white space here. So you can control the dotted line and the dash and the thickness of it or the length of it. So that's one of these options. Let's do this one here. And as you can see here right now, that works all fine. The next thing what I want to do is on the Y scale, do exactly the same. We're going to pinpoint this, we just copy this, put it in there, save that, and there we are. If you look very carefully, you can see here these lines are now being dotted as well. It is not really that it's being dotted. The issue here is that the borderline, which is on here of the axis, is basically two lines at the same time. It's one of the grid and other one is the borderline here. And here is as well the borderline here and the grid line, which is also in here. So there's two lines here. So what we could do to avoid this overlapping effect we can just give the border specifically, and I know it's a bit conf confusing because we're using it, the dash as well in the border. But we can say here color, and then we can say here the color could be, uh, let's say black, very straightforward. Save that, refresh, there you are. Now we have, instead of a transparent color, a solid color. So we could do here the same, but then maybe gray or any of these colors here. So there we are. If you want to get the same color, if I'm not mistaken, it is RGBA, uh, RGBA, 102, 102, 102. And then normally it's 0.5, but we can say here solid one. By doing that, it is slightly more visible. There we are, although you don't see much of a difference. And that's it.